Hello folks, welcome to Unicorn Light Tarot. I sincerely hope everybody is doing amazingly well today. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have just come into our beautiful little family here. Welcome, welcome. And for those of you who are brand new, welcome to the channel. Unicorn Light Tarot hopefully will get you some beautiful messages today. And for those of you who are returning, obviously a huge welcome. Thank you for being here. So today what I thought we would do is we would reach out to Archangel Raphael. He's one of my favorite angels. Well, you know, let's be honest, they're all my favorite. But I love Archangel Raphael because he is in charge. He is the one for healing. The angel for healing, he works on every single level, metaphysical, auric, um, physical level. He can heal any area of your life. And of course, if we are fully healed from our past and past lives and whatever it is that's going on in our life, then we, we have the, we have the freedom to be able to choose in a brand new way and create the life that we want. So I thought that we would talk to Archangel Raphael. And as always, I have the little candle here that I have made from scratch. And this is healing and abundance oil that I also make magic oil with the full moon that's layered into the candle wax here, which is a natural candle wax. So that's gonna give us a little extra boost of energy as we speak to Archangel Raphael. So let's speak to him and see what messages that we can get directly from your Archangel. He's also one that I love too because he has a very unique and wonderful sense of humor. So if you have asked for his help and all of a sudden you get a funny thought that's pretty much him. And also, if you can clear your mind and call in Archangel Raphael, what I really love is that if you give yourself some space, he always comes back with these brilliant new ideas. And it's really up to you to sit with them and say to yourself, yeah, I can totally do this. Um, he's really, really, really good at that. If you, if you get this brilliant spark after you've called him into your life, I guarantee you that is Archangel Raphael working with you. Um, and he only gives you ideas that you have the space and the freedom from which to perform from. So you're always able, um, to articulate them or put them out into the world or integrate them into your life. Um, he doesn't give you far-fetched ideas that he doesn't want you to execute. There are definitely ideas that are absolutely and completely for you and ready for you. So that's another thing that he's great for. So as always, what we're gonna do is we have our three piles. The first pile has turquoise on it. The second pile has our little pyramid here, which is amethyst. And then we have the very grounding tiger's eye here on the third pile. So we're gonna ground into our energy and take a huge breath and call in all of our angels for messages of love and light, specifically Archangel Raphael, but I love calling in all of the angels for protection and for beauty too. So we will call in Archangel Raphael and channel messages expressly from him today. So we'll just take a moment to ground. And as always, take as much time as you need for to resonate with one of the piles. If one of the, the readings isn't resonating with you, feel free to go down below. They're always, um, the piles, the timestamps are always down below. Feel free to go below and go ahead and choose another pile. And if nothing's resonating this time, come back, it will. But usually one of the piles, if not all of them will resonate for you if this channel is for you. So go ahead and pause the video if you need a little extra time and yeah. Like I said, the timestamps will be down below so you can go ahead and grab your beautiful messages from Archangel Raphael immediately. All right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna put these aside for now and the tiger's eye aside for now. Okay, so here we have pile one. If you chose this beautiful turquoise, if you can see here, it's got sort of like veins in here. It almost looks like a leaf. It's very, it's really beautiful, beautiful stone here. So this is a timeless reading, uh, messages from Archangel Raphael, which obviously will include some kind of healing for you and advice about healing. So let's get into your pile, pile one, and see what messages we have for you. Hunger, new moon. And we have here, by my attention to things, I am making choices. I'm going to put that there. Let's do the tarot cards a little bit later. I want to concentrate on this vanity. Here we have this with the blue. 
soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Mercury, open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. So obviously you've got something going on here with healing around. Let's move this back a little bit with communication pile one. OK, so the first message that I'm getting from Archangel Raphael here, hopefully you can see these, is that there is for some of you. And again, this is a general reading, but um, for some of you, what I'm picking up is that there is a hunger to be seen. There is a hunger to be, um, you know, a little bit later on appreciated, but seen for who you are, seen for your authenticity and seen for your uniqueness. Um, and in order to do that, one must be able to communicate from a sense or a grounding place, from a gr uh, an open heart and a sense of uniqueness. So um, this is something that you've desired before. And I feel as though what's happening here with Archangel Raphael, there is healing around how it is that you communicate. So this the first thing that you're already doing, and if this is resonating with you, then you, you should probably understand this already. This is something that you know that you need to do. You're not very good at asking for help. Um, the idea that you need help externally outside of yourself is something that you battle with. Um, you are a person of action, ultra independence. Um, I feel as though, um, again, this is a general reading, but this is the message that I'm picking up. Um, for those of you who have had to be a child from, um, who never got to be a child, who had to be a grown up from very, very young, you have learned how to be completely and totally independent. And that is wonderful in a way. But the world is not supposed to be here for you to sort of pile up on you and to do everything yourself. So when you ask for when you ask for help, it's very, very difficult for you. And there's a certain amount of shame around that. And the shame is feeling as though um, you need help beyond what you can give yourself. Um, there is a part of you that, that believes in your subconscious that everything that you have is within yourself. Now, yes, that is true. Um, but Archangel Raphael is here to, to heal and and cleanse some of those old wounds and take those out. It's, it's, you, you kind of strayed from the truth a little bit. Yes. Um, in order to, um, to have the life that you want, you do need to take full responsibility for every aspect of your life and, and be able to heal from that perspective, certainly. But you're also not supposed to do this completely on your own. So while yes, it is your responsibility to look within and be responsible for your inner attitude, as it were, it's not your responsibility to have to do this completely alone. Um, and that's something that you sort of mixed up a little bit in your head and your heart. I, I feel par one. And it's caused you a little bit of pain. Um, so the vanity comes from the fact that there's a little bit of this confusion. So the hunger of absolutely and wanting to completely be seen for who they are and yet not knowing exactly um, how to put that out in the world um, without being guarded. You are slightly guarded because because you hold everything in, because you, you want to be self-sufficient completely, um, you guard a lot of your uniqueness and certain people get to see it and but the world doesn't um, because you don't want to be hurt by the world. And really, at the end of the day, Archangel Michael is saying that you can embrace absolutely every aspect of yourself and put it out there. So the vanity really comes from the fact that um, when people project upon you and it happens a lot because um, you still harbor these sort of memories of this understanding of being ultra independent. Now, you you could have had past lives where you were completely independent. You were sort of like a real loner, but you came into this lifetime and whatever your sort of childhood experience for the most part would have reflected that in some arena, in some way. And that is totally fine. There's an aspect of you that is kind of a loner. And that's some part of you, I think that's the empathic part of you that will always exist. But the to the extent in which you've done this in the world has been slightly detrimental to you because now you're ready to sort of burst out. Now, you're at the point where you've sown the seeds and you're ready to burst out. You're kind of confused how to do it. And in the past, your hunger has come out in different ways. Um, 
So when people have projected upon you, you've been violently angry within yourself, not necessarily with the person, but you've taken it on. Um, you take on a lot of the energy of the world and, and it's very insular to you. You, you. you pull it right in. You're the sort of person that really thinks, 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 probably overthinks um, and takes things to the extreme in the thought process so you can really unravel it and get to the bottom of it. There's nothing that you won't do. Um, you have beautiful courage when it comes to healing because you will you will take responsibility and you have taken responsibility for things that have happened in your life and try to shift them and take them around. You're definitely the sort of person that when, um, you know, something goes wrong in your life or, you know, somebody's called you on something, you may not want to hear it, but you'll go away and you'll think about it and you'll deconstruct it and come back and say, all right, you were right. You know, you'll definitely do that. So your essence here is about communication. And when people have projected upon you, um, you may have had sort of a, an inner sort of violent reaction, if that makes any sense, pa one. And you've turned it against yourself. Why are they treating me like this? Why, 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 why? How dare they? This, that, and the other. Because you have a sense of of beauty. You have um, a really strong personality and, and a really strong sort of sense of uniqueness. But again, people aren't seeing it. So when they're not seeing it and you're projected upon and, and seen as sort of um, something that somebody can project upon really easily and they've completely and totally gotten you wrong, it really hurts to the core. So Archangel Raphael is, is understanding your hunger to be seen uniquely and for you to step into your own power and communicate communicate from the heart completely and totally and embrace your uniqueness in a brand new way. And this is all about communication. So your soul expansion, there's a part of you that believes that if you um, completely and totally um, expand on who you are and show that to the world, there'll be some criticism. And this is what's been happening in your life, um, Power One. You've been doing it sort of from, from the outskirts, sort of looking in, one foot in, one foot out, almost like an experiment. So when you have shown aspects of yourself, people have been criticizing you. So a part of you wants to come back into your shell and go, oh, I don't really want to do this. I will save my uniqueness, my beauty. Um, for people who appreciate me. But Archangel Raphael is saying, um, this is a way that you could do it. If you have pure and open communication, again, get the weight off your chest, speak up with love and be heard. If you have complete and total open communication in a way that you've never really communicated before, in a sort of a carefree, this is me, take what you want. Um, it, here's my uniqueness. Here's my beauty. There's no chance that anybody can really project upon you. And you actually, ironically, will not really attract the people that are criticizing you. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that, you know, life is absolutely, you know, to beyond the point that nobody will ever criticize you. Nobody will ever sort of project upon you. That's impossible. But I feel as though the way in which you're trying to communicate now is only half truth. You're trying to do it from a place where you want to be open and you've been open, more open than you've ever been before. So that's wonderful, Pile One. But you're not doing it from an, an expansive place. You're almost doing it from a, mm, let's see what happens. I've been more expansive than I have before, but you're still pulling in this sort of criticism or um, this sort of um, this sort of energy that makes you want to revert back into yourself. And Archangel Raf uh, Raphael, again, is saying open communication, completely open to the wind. This is who I am. And when you communicate like that, you'll you'll actually again, you will um, you will attract, first of all, less criticism. But what you will attract, which is much more important in some ways, you'll attract your soul family. You'll attract the people who are exactly like you, who shine the light like you. And you'll get the support from others. And when you get the support from others, which you currently don't really have in your life right now, then if you do have criticism, you can laugh it away really easily. Again, Pile One, you are trying to do everything on your own. You're trying to figure out life on your own, one step forward, two steps backwards, three steps forward, four steps backwards. Archangel Raphael wants you to step into your power completely and wholly and without apology. And really immerse yourself in this hunger. This hunger is sort of overtaking you and, and you're showing yourself in sort of um, increments, which again, in the past, I feel as though there was a lot for you to heal. And maybe that's the way you had to do it then. But you don't now. You've healed a lot. You're ready to show yourself. 
And again, by my attention to things, I am making choices. So your attention is when you're putting yourself out there for this open communication, quote unquote, your intention actually is to shield yourself from the criticism. So what you're actually doing is, is you're really only putting yourself out there in a sort of um, halfway point. You're not fully embracing who you are um, with abandon and saying, this is who I am. This is what I believe. Um, and there's a part of you that's still waiting for that projection or that criticism or, or this, that, and the other. And again, you know, should it happen if you if you put yourself out there with abandon, with with pure and total communication and trust in that and letting other people support you, not having to do this on your own, you will rise up in the support that other people are giving you and the criticism you'll be able to laugh off because you've got your soul family. Right. Let's see what we have here. King of Swords. Yes, absolutely. Demanding respect the world. Oh, my goodness. And the Seven of Pentacles. So this is absolutely beautiful. So your soul is definitely ready to expand and specifically in communication. You're ready to show yourself to the world the way in which you want to be seen. So um, Archangel Raphael is telling you, first of all, this is your sign. This is absolutely the right time for you. Um, you can expand beyond ways that you never thought that you could. Now, the world definitely means travel in, in tarot, but it also means a travel of an expansion, moving beyond what you thought. So, you know, there's a, there's a very practical element to your personality, which is perfectly reasonable. But I feel as though when you set up tasks for yourself, pile one, what you're doing is you're giving yourself sort of not an expansive mode, but you're giving yourself like versions of how this can turn out. What Archangel my, um, Raphael wants you to do is when you decide on something, think of expansiveness. So for you, and we always try to give you some really sort of practical ways in which to integrate into your life instead of just giving you a reading. So when you decide on something, instead of trying to figure out how it will all work out or different ways it could go, why don't you just give an expansive viewpoint and admit that you have no idea how this is going to be? This will be a really good exercise for you, pile one. So when you choose to communicate, choose to uh, communicate all, completely all, completely open, know that you are supported and don't try and think about who's going to come back and what's going to happen. When you think about something that you want to do, allow it to really resonate with you and put it out there and say to the universe or God or, you know, whoever it is, the source, um, or source, whoever it is that you are, who are you working with or who you identify, whom you identify with, you know, definitely think of this expansiveness and just putting yourself out there. I don't know how this is going to end up. This is there's an infinite amount of possibilities. Why don't you do that pile one instead of trying to limit yourself when you put out there? Because what you do is you take away the, the expansiveness by trying to figure out what's going to happen. Almost as if, you know, if the shoe drops, I'm ready for this. So open communication pure expansiveness for you, um, not trying to figure out anything and, and this sort of really allow yourself to dream um, and come up with these really expansive ways of things to happen. Again, not trying to figure out the outcome, but really expansive, far beyond what you would have thought um, this can go. And also when you embark on a brand new um, sort of venture, it, it's really good, again, to be practical. You know, if I do, you know, baby sticks X, Y and Z, you know, I can expect this, especially, you know, for instance, you know, setting up a business. But what you do at every um, sort of interval in your life is that you sort of box, your, box yourself in by saying, if I do this, I expect X, Y and Z to happen. Again, Archangel Raphael wants you to come from a place of pure expansiveness. Why don't you... When you're starting something new, just come in and say, you know what, I'm going to do this. I don't expect anything from it. I'm going to see where it goes and really allow that decision, what it is that you're doing in your life to show you a path instead of you trying to push a path onto yourself. So the power of truth, you have this power of truth. You have this hunger, you have this this expansion, this this need to be seen for who you are. So Archangel Raphael wants you to literally walk in your own uniqueness, allow yourself to be seen at all without protection, with this with this wonderful understanding of expansiveness, without trying to be one step ahead of what's going to happen. Now, 
the way in which you've done this is out of protection and it's totally reasonable why you've done this. Everybody needs to feel protected. But you, you've you come full force now. There's really no need anymore for you to feel as though you need to, you know, you need to lie in wait for somebody to come at you because you, you know, people have done that in the past. You always have to be ready for some kind of criticism. They're asking you to, to, to really sort of go back and assess your life and and really see how far you've come. When you see how far you come, you can put down that sword or you can use the sword of truth and not using to defend. Um, the hunger and the open communication that you are absolutely longing for is all you need in the expansiveness of life. You don't need to constantly be ready to defend. So they want you, and again, in a practical way, they want you to go back into all of your life and see how beautiful you've come in and done whatever it is that you've needed to do in order to become yourself. And that in itself is absolutely wonderful. And when you have an appreciation for the gorgeousness and the expansion that you've allowed into your life, you'll be able to step into this brand new version of expansion, which is limitless. They want you to take that into your new understanding of self. Everything needs to be limitless. Right now, you're limiting yourself by having these very specific, you know, expansive ideas, but then limiting the ideas so you can figure out and be one step ahead of how it's going to end up. They want you to, Archangel Raphael wants you to allow the ending of healing, um, not the ending of healing, but the ending of the old way of doing things, allow the healing and the hunger to come in so you can truly express yourself from your heart and expansiveness and, and be who you are and bring your truth and beauty to this world. Okay, pile one, I hope this resonated with you. This is definitely a communication time for you and a time of expansiveness. And I hope we gave you um, a few beautiful sort of practical ways to integrate into your life to help you through and move into this new, beautiful expansiveness. Um, and do expect miracles when you come into this new un understanding of expansiveness, because of, of course that means it's completely limitless and you, of course, can be exactly who you want and do whatever it is that you want in this lifetime. Okay, pal one, if this resonated with you, and I hope it did, feel free to give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you feel as though this is the energy that you want in your life. That would be absolutely wonderful. All right. Also, leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, pile two, if you chose the amethyst... That's wonderful. This is your timeless reading here from Archangel Raphael and with the specifics of healing, what it is that you need to heal in your life to move forward. So let's see what we have here for you. Self-reflection is the first card. Then we have relationships I don't want clarify those I do want. You know what? I am actually going to Put the tarot cards down here for a while. All right, we have victim. And of course we have Archangel Michael. Trusting heaven, you are safe. Angel, stand close, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. And then we have hope, love and acceptance. Love is yours, recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Okay, so the first message that I'm getting here um, from Archangel Raphael is that full responsibility, and this is going to be, this is going to be something that we, we need to discuss here, pile two. I hope you're going to be okay with it, but you know, in order to pull back the power that you feel as though others, um, have taken from you, you have to take complete responsibility for your entire life. Now let's be clear here. Um, it doesn't mean that things that you have gone through, in the past when you've been treated badly, it does not mean by any stretch of the imagination that you deserved it. No, it doesn't. But it does unfortunately mean that you now have to, it's your responsibility to heal from all of that stuff. So there is a communication here. There is, um, uh, Mercury is in retrograde right now, even though this is a timeless reading. But if you are actually listening to this, whenever you listen to this, this really is a reading to help you understand that the power actually comes from you to forgive and to understand. So what Archangel Raphael wants you to do 
is when you're feeling anger from a situation, when you look back, he wants you to take your time and remove yourself from that situation and not react initially and just sort of let everything lie. Let all the components lie down for a second and really see what happened. Okay, so there is a... Um, a little bit of, and I, I don't want to, to use the victim mentality because I think that's really reductive and I don't think that we need to do that with you. Um, but there definitely is a way for you to reclaim your power in a way um, that gives you power throughout and integrates all the way through your life. Right now, um, some of you are, or whoever's resonating with this reading, is going a little bit nuts because of the way in which you've been treated before. You're being hurt and sounded, and a lot of you are frustrated and angry. Now, in order for you to move beyond... This part of your life, because I feel as though for some of you, you keep going over and over and over this stuff and really pulling it, trying to pull it apart. And 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 there's nothing wrong with that. That's an essence of taking control over what's happened to you. That's a wonderful thing to do. But if you keep going round and round and round and coming out with the same conclusions and s still being angry with that person um, or angry at that situation or angry at the fact that you didn't have boundaries sooner rather than later, then, of course, you are still, in essence, going round and round in circles. Now, Archangel Raphael is here to stop that right now. So the first thing that you can do, and again, we try to look for practical ways in which to help you. You must understand that you did the best that you could in those situations and stop beating yourself up or feeling guilty. That's one thing you can do. Pure and profound, profound self-acceptance. When you are self-reflecting right now, you are still going round and round and round. And if you, if when you go back and you you revisit certain things, because some things need to be revisited so they can be sort of, um, you know, pulled apart and then sort of released and you can move into the next portion of your life. You're not really doing that right now. But when you self-reflect now, self-reflect with the energy of pure and utter acceptance on your part. That's where I was then. That's all I could have done. And stop beating yourself up about not having enough boundaries or not doing this, that and the other. You have to stop doing that. That's not going to get you anywhere. You already know that. And it's really important that um, and he's giving me the idea that um, you were not supposed to know right then. You were not supposed to be the person that you are now. When you're looking back and you're looking back from the wisdom that you know now and you didn't have the wisdom that you know then, that you knew then, of course you're being hard on yourself. That, that's just ridiculous. Um, that's not going to do anything. Of course you didn't have the same wisdom that you do now. Um, Archangel Raphael wants to remind you that you went through that situation because you needed to learn. It was a soul lesson. So, of course, you weren't supposed to have the wisdom that you have now. Now, going back and reflecting on situations that you felt as though you could have been better at with the wisdom that you have now is just like a self-fulfilling prophecy. None of this is, is going to get you anywhere. You have to understand that those were soul lessons that you needed to learn. And you learned them because you moved out of the circle and you 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 really did take what you needed and you were able to release everything that wasn't serving and to move forward. So what they want, what Archangel Raphael wants you to do without a shadow of a doubt is to look back when you self-reflect with the with the sort of the blanket, if you were, see it as a blanket of pure and utter self-acceptance wherever you were and oh. Wonderful. That's where I was then. I learned X, Y, and Z from there. Instead of just looking back and just, you know, harnessing all of your power and energy and what you didn't do, he wants you to look at what you did do. And you did do a lot right. Now, some people, okay, some people have almost, you know, um, I almost had this. I almost had that. That's not really you. You're getting to the point where you, you can kind of say that that was you. But for you, um, you, you've definitely had a couple of those situations where you've attracted the almost, the almost. But maybe, you know, that was taken away or something happened. But for you, you've been through situations where they weren't so great. And Archangel Raphael wants to remind you that was a soul lesson too. Sometimes it can be a hard lesson to learn, but sometimes you learn far more from everything in a situation that isn't working rather than a situation that was almost right. Now, 
they he wants you to understand that your soul lessons may have been quite extreme in some ways because you were put into situations or attracted situations or people that really weren't right for you. But you were able to learn so much from that situation. So again, when you look back and reflect upon that situation, total and utter self reflection um, that you're doing, total and utter self-acceptance. What you're doing when you look back pile two is that you're not really gathering all of the wisdom and integrating and giving yourself space to see all of the wisdom that you've gathered over the years. You're really selling yourself short and Archangel Raphael does not want you to do that. And occasionally you even like revert back into a little bit of the victim kind of like, oh, woe was me. This happened. This happened. Now you, you really do recognize that when you go into this victim mentality that it's not really you. So it's not a place that you stay. But sometimes when you're not truly accepting all of the beauty that you've been through and everything that you've that your soul has allowed you to all of the information that your soul has allowed you to gather you're really not expressing yourself from that in, entire truth you're being very hard on yourself and again you're, you're focusing on all the the negative stuff that happened without integrating or really giving yourself a break and understanding all of the beauty that came out of that, all of the wisdom that came out of that, that is absolutely profound, pile two. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You've been through hell and back, most of you. So the amount of wisdom that you've accumulated, absolutely wonderful. Please give yourself a break and start seeing that. The hope and acceptance and the trusting heaven will absolutely come from the way in which you self-reflect. Again, instead of going round in circles, please stop seeing just the negative that happened. Accept the negative and release it fully by, and this is the way that you can do it. Again, we're trying to give you practical ways of doing this. You will be able to release all of the negative stuff that happened in your life and fully release it when you accept every aspect of that wisdom that you, you articulated and you brought in from all of those experiences and give yourself that space to, to see yourself as that warrior woman, that warrior man, that warrior person um, that now has this beautiful wisdom from going through all of what you have gone through. And trust me, Archangel Raphael is saying, you know, whatever you've been through has been enough. You're not going to have to keep going through these circles. So going back and self-reflecting where you're just going round and round and round and seeing everything the same way that you saw before without the view of expansion and pure and total self-acceptance is just going to drive you nuts. Not needed. Absolutely not needed. Let's see. Yes, balance. Two of pentacles here. Ten of pentacles here in the hangman. I love the hangman. Twelve actually might... Um uh, might have something for you there. I'm feeling like the number 12 is something in there. Um, so I do feel as though it is a balance about how you go back into your old self and reaffirm who it is that you are now. You are not seeing your beauty. Look at this, the 10 of pentacles. This is you in the middle. You, this is, um, uh, upside down right now, but we can turn it right side up. Um, this is the wisdom that you have, and this is the wisdom that you can pick up and fully integrate into every aspect of your being. When you go back and when you self-reflect, again, go back and and go from the, the aspect, from the, the, to the, the, so the total soul understanding of self-acceptance and gather all of that wisdom and integrate it into that beautiful, expansive heart of yours um, and really see the power of what you've gone through. Now, the hanged man here, for those of you who have felt a little stagnant um, and felt as though you were not moving forward or um, felt as though that you're going through these cycles yet again, you're going through these cycles yet again is because you're putting yourself through that with the same understanding of the self-reflection that you keep going through and keep going through and keep going through. Really, at the end of the day, again, if you if you go with the, the understanding of this expansiveness, pulling in and integrating all of that wisdom that you've been through and standing in that power, you will understand that you have an incredible, 
incredible courage and pure and true foundation that cannot be shaken. Once you pull in absolutely all of that wisdom that you've been through, your hope and your trusting of heaven and your trusting of the next move. For those of you who are a little bit nervous about moving forward or you don't know the next step, I promise you it will come to you as clear as day. As long as you stop, as soon, and this can happen in a second, as soon as you stop the cycle of the self-reflection going round and round and round without gathering all of your wisdom, profound self, um, uh, self-acceptance self and, of course, um and this beauty that you have and the power that you've you've gone through the power in which that you you've come out from the other side and understanding that every relationship every situation that you put yourself through had a message for you that message just needs to be gathered integrated pulled in the wisdom pulled into your foundation right into the earth so you can claim that power and move forward what you're doing is not seeing the power of who you are and you're just going round and round and round in old drama, really, and not coming out with new conclusions. And it's just a matter of balance. Now, all of this, Archangel Raphael is telling you, is just a small shift in perspective. That's all it is. So when you self-reflect, again, go in with pure and total self-acceptance and see it as going into gathering your wisdom, gathering in your power, do some grounding exercises, start seeing yourself for the warrior person that you are. And, you know, it, it won't be so bad for you to take the 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 hangman energy and just stay and not see it as stagnation, but see it as you've been through a bunch of battles. You know, let's just see it as you preserving your strength and gathering your warrior spirit again for the next move. And once you do that, you will appreciate everything that you've been through in a brand new way. You'll be able to reflect on your life in this really beautiful way that you've not done before, in a way that's um, full of forgiveness and full of relief. Oh my goodness, I went through that. Yes, I did that. With a sense of space that you've never done that before. When you self-reflect now, you really, your body and soul, your mind, your heart, everything gets... Um, gets involved because you have an incredible amount of imagination. Arch Archangel Raphael wants you to use that imagination to create a new and expansive future um, and to bring that energy back to you. And there is a reminder that everybody was doing their best at that time. So there can be no blame, including you. Again, I want to be very clear. If somebody has not done you well in the past, that is not excusing their behavior by any stretch of the imagination. But it is your responsibility to make sure that that behavior does not come back into your life. And again, the way in which you can do that is to go back self-reflection in a way that allows for expansion and complete self-acceptance on your part and also on their part, but mainly on your part, except that the situation happened and that is, it is what it is. Gather your power and wisdom from that and stand in your own beauty and power from now on in. Now, I want to be clear, you know, the image that I got is you standing from a bunch of battles and, you know, with the hangman, just pulling in your power and wisdom from um, and your, your learning knowledge, everything that you've learned and allowing it to integrate into your soul so you can move off with this incredible wisdom. But I don't want you to worry about always having to have armor on. For those of you who have always felt as though they had to have armor on, that's not the future you're moving into. You are doing all of this and creating a new sense of perspective and beauty. So you don't have to move through the world wondering when somebody's going to treat you like that again. You don't have to move through the world with armor on and ready for the, the next shoe to drop or somebody to come at you. Once you reflect and, and, and bring in all of that self-acceptance from your heart and move into a new expansive world, your perspective will shift tenfold and you no longer need to worry or be on the lookout or be on alert or be waiting for any of that, any of the old to come back again. You have completed a, a cycle of healing where none of this is coming back. And yet you you really want to go back and, and keep going over and over and over the same stuff. So if you are going to go back again, self-reflection, go back with an understanding of um, self-appreciation, self-love, um, and, and end the cycle of going back and self-reflection in the way that you've been doing it once and for all, and bring that balance and power back and wisdom from all of those situations so you can stand 
who you are in this lifetime and never, ever, ever settle for anything less again. All right, pile two, if that resonated with you, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to give me a thumbs up, a little like. Um, feel free to subscribe if you feel as though this is the energy that um, you would like in your life. That's wonderful. If not, that's great too. Feel free to leave me a comment below. I always love hearing from you guys. And again, thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Until we meet again, pile two. Bye-bye. Okay, pile three, this is your timeless message. If you picked this beautiful tiger's eye, I don't know if you can see it, but it's almost 3D. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put that to the side. So this is your timeless reading from Archangel Raphael. Usually comes in with messages of healing. As always, we want to try and give you some practical insights that you can integrate into your life um, in order to gather up that healing and, and move forward with this expansive life that I know that you want. So let's go ahead and get right in here. Ooh, the unexpected. I love that. So that's the first card. And what do we have here? I can find harmony by feeling for improved thoughts. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I've been doing this for the other ones. I actually want to put the tarot cards aside and do this destiny. Ooh, love that. Mother Mary, one of my favorites, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection. Trust your inner voice. All right, so let's put this aside. All right, Archangel Raphael, let's see what we've got. So I feel as though the first message that I'm getting for you, pile three, is align, not control. So there's... um. There's, again, this is a general reading, so it's just, hopefully this resonates, but I feel as though for some of you, um, you work with expansion in a very specific way. You work with expansion um, on the understanding that it's on your terms. Expansion means that you literally just let whatever happens, happens. Now, for some of you who are out there and that sounds a little bit foreign or a little bit scary, I'm with you. I totally understand that. Um, you have come down here into this lifetime, into this generation. Most of you um, who are reading this, who are resonating with this reading or resonating with Unicorn Light Tarot in some ways, you have a certain frequency. You are star seeds. You have come here to do um, some incredible work. And that understanding is in your DNA. That understanding is in your psyche. So the first message that I'm getting, so some of you are doubting if you're going to achieve what it is that you're here on earth to do. First of all, let go of that. Archangel Raphael is saying, no dream is too small. And you have had many, many past lives to prepare for this life time. And yes, that is exactly what you are here to do. You have destiny. Now, the one thing that you want to do in order to create your destiny is that you want to control it. Now, you all, a lot of you out there um, do understand how energy works and you work with energy in an incredible way. And I think I feel as though you understand how energy works in a way that most people don't. Um, but what you are doing is and some of you are consciously confusing the idea of control with action, um, with alignment. Now, you you definitely have the idea of of action down. Most of you are very passionate and you do take divine action, um, but there's trusting in that action and love and peace. Um, so when you choose a decision, you choose to move forward. There are a lot of doubts or there can be some doubts around. Is this the right way to move forward? You have incredible intuition. Archangel uh, Raphael is letting you know that everything that you choose is divine. You are working with the divine. And um, you came here with incredible intuition. Now, you don't always work on those intuitions. And if you, you have moved down the line, there's always been, and you, you're not happy with the outcome, there's always been red flags along the line. And you've always known that when you go back into the situation and you see, oh yeah, I did see that. I didn't take notice of it or I went ahead anyway. But your intuition, they want to remind you that your intuition is absolutely stellar. It is fine-tuned in a way that not everybody's intuition is. So when you make a decision and you feel aligned with it and you feel happy with it, that's an expansion move and you need to let go of the need to control that or figure out what the next step is. The way in which you move forward now, um, pile three, is going to be a little bit different than you've moved forward in the past. Archangel Raphael wants you to shift your perspective 
and embrace the idea of the unexpected. And this is the reason why um, what you've asked for is not even what you're going to get, because what you've asked for is not even touching on what it is that you're going to achieve in this lifetime. And even if you think that dream is already big and you don't even know how you're going to get there, I promise you, you will get there. You will definitely get there. Your soul has been designed in order to get there in this lifetime. Again, you have many, many different lifetimes in order to achieve what it is that you want. Now, the way in which that you will do this is you have to come back to a sense of peace and trust in your own heart. Not only do you need to, I feel as though you do trust the universe. I feel as though who you don't trust is yourself and your own heart. So remember, it's your destiny. And again, I can find harmony by feeling for improved thoughts. So this is what we're going to do. This is your practical element here. So a shift, a small shift in perspective. And again, this just needs to be done over and over and over until it's integrated back into your life. What you do suffer from, and it is a little bit of a suffer pile three, is self-doubt. Now, I don't know why you self-doubt yourself or there's self-doubt around everything that you do, really. I feel as though there's a there's a part of you that maybe expects something to go wrong or not necessarily expects it to go wrong. But, you know, again, preparing yourself for something just in case it doesn't turn out the way that you want. Um, accepting that if things don't turn out the way that you want, it means that it's going to turn out even better. That's the perspective that you need to take on from now on. Um or that you can take on to have a better life. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Um, but I feel as though, we feel as though Archangel Raphael is is really, again, shift in perspective. Let's get back to this. So it's really, really simple for you. Very, very practical. Um, when you ask for your next step, your next baby step, okay? Archangel Raphael can work with you on this. Once you get that idea, go for that idea with an open heart, but without expecting or understanding how that's going to fit. This idea with your personality is you're you're willing to do things on a certain level. You're willing to do, but you you want the outcome. Um, and you you sort of want to know how it's going to work out. Now it's absolutely perfectly reasonable to want to be included and, and to be involved in your own decisions, right? Absolutely. But again, you're, you're confusing control with alignment. Once you're in alignment, you don't need to worry about how it, how it's going to, um, how it's going to, you know, end, not end, how it's going to work out because you're, you're on a path of many, many baby steps. And once you're in alignment, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. And what you're trying to do is put your thoughts onto every single sort of decision that you make. And you're really pulling in your thoughts and, and not having the expansiveness. You're not giving yourself the space to achieve what it is that you want. You have this really expansive view of yourself in theory. And then you choose these sort of kind of low ways of doing things like low energy versions of things like, oh, I'll do this job or I'll do this. What you, You're choosing things to be in control. You're not choosing um, essences or, or things in your life, maybe even people in your life that are in alignment with what you actually want. But here's the thing. This is why it's going to be so simple. You've actually outgrown all of that stuff anyway, which is why this is a little bit of a frustrating process. You're absolutely ready for the peace of mind and whatever it is that you want. Um, Archangel Raphael is telling you to surrender and to let go. And in alignment, there's no need for that control anymore. Now, in the past, there may have been a need for that control because you did need to protect yourself at times, but you don't need to do that anymore. Um, you're being protected. Look at this, Ten of Cups. Come on. Okay, so you have the Ace of Swords and it's reversed and the star that's reversed. Now, we can we can easily speak to this. Um we can turn this upside down. I mean, it's already upside down. We can turn this now the right way up because the reason why the star and you have the sword of truth is upside down because you are limiting your own version of what it is that you want now you know what you want okay you know that you're capable of it in many different regards you really do at a soul level you understand what that is i think you're afraid deep down pile three we're gonna get real low and dirty here we're just gonna put it all out there i think a, a part of you is afraid that you're gonna get what you want and that's your reason to control what it is that's coming in. Um, but actually, you are going to get what you want. And you've been working diligently one way or another to pre prepare your soul for the responsibility of what it is that you want. You are ready for this responsibility now. You have this sort of truth. You're the one that's turned this, this card in reverse. 
you know, you've asked the stars, the wish card, you've, uh, well, the nine of cups too, but you can have what it is that you want. You're absolutely here to, to have what it is that you want. You don't need to be afraid of what that's going to look like. Again, the quickest way for you to um, to shift what it is that you are thinking, to get what it is that you want, is to understand that you're in alignment with it and just to let go, to release, to trust, to come from a place of, of really relaxed breathing of hope and trust and just beauty, peace and love. You know you're going to get there. No need to absolutely, by any stretch of the imagination, um, there's no need to push anymore. There's no need to control. It's just about being in alignment. And again, when you move forward and you feel like you're in alignment and everything feels great, that's when you start to panic a little bit. That's when you're like, what's my next move? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's control this. No, that's when you release and go with the flow. You can ask for guidance at any time. No one's asking you to go through this life going, I don't know what I'm doing. You can ask for guidance. You can ask for signs. But there is an aspect of you that needs to let go and release and, and know that your, your power is ready to be shined onto the world and that you can absolutely get what you want. Now, the best way to do it is to to look for the unexpected or is to 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 know that the unexpected in the past that the unexpected may have been a bad thing for you but it's no longer a bad thing for you again come back to the expansive viewpoint anything can happen in a great way and give yourself your life some space for the beautiful unexpected now if you do get to the point um, where you're doubting where you are, you, you've moved forward and you're, you're getting back into that energy of trying to control and not in an alignment, which is something that you, you've picked up. All you have to do is take yourself out of that for a second and shift your perspective ever so easily. And once you start doing that, it'll become a pattern where just call yourself on it. All right, you know what? I'm backing off right now. I'm going to ask for advice. I'm going to ask for some signs. I'm feeling a little bit scared. I'm feeling a little bit out of my element. I know I'm in alignment, but I, I need some I need some help here. If I got some help, I wouldn't feel so scared. Um, and then I wouldn't need to. And then I definitely wouldn't need the the understanding of needing to control. So when you feel a little out of your element, Instead of controlling, come back, ask for some help, ask for a sign, and then just understanding that getting used to being in harmony with the unexpected, with letting go, and just being used to go with the flow, that's not who you are necessarily, but it can be who you are. There's an aspect of your personality that's extremely easygoing, that absolutely can do that. Now, Remembering that this is your destiny, what you've asked for, and I am going to say it, is owed. You are, you, you have designed yourself in a way so you can get exactly what it is that you want in this lifetime. So let's turn these around. And again, when, when you're feeling a little overwhelmed or out of your element, just come back, shift your perspective and say, my need for controlling is coming back now, Archangel Raphael. I need your help. I need your guidance. I need some peace. I need to come back to self. I need to come back to the alignment mindset. And um, I need to leave trying to control in the dust. How are you going to help me with this? You're not here to do this alone. They've got your back. Let them work with you a little bit more. OK, so I mean, you have Mother Mary here, peace and love. And remember, when you are moving into whoever and whatever it is that you're supposed to achieve and be in this lifetime, if it sits in your heart perfectly and you have the sense of alignment and you have the sense of tingly. Yes, that feels right. Absolutely. That feels right. Trust, trust, trust. When you come into that sort of second guessing, that doubt, that oh, kind of feeling that you trying to control shift the perspective, ask for help, ground back into your own power, into your own peace and trust and understand that your destiny is here to do whatever you're supposed to do. And again, if you're like getting afraid because of the unexpected or trying to try on what it will look like, what you've asked for, because you think it's huge and, and then you're getting out of your depth because you're starting to panic. Oh my God, I can't get there. I can't do this. I don't have enough knowledge. That's when you pull yourself back. Again, you have enough wisdom to do that. But, you know, stay in the present moment. You know, if if we all, 
if we all ask for something, it's it's good to try it on and, and to, to, to claim it and, and get in there and see what it looks like. Absolutely. But you don't need to stay there. If it's freaking you out, come back. That's fine. Trust that you are absolutely enough to be the person that you are already in order to achieve your dreams. Um, but you don't have to go too far into the future. That is in essence, part of the control. If I can see what it looks like, I know it's going to be, you know, I know I'll be able to do it. Now, that's very different to walking into that power in the future and being that person. See the difference? That's alignment. You going in there to try and figure out how it's going to happen and then like seeing that power and going, hmm, 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 that's control. Tweak, 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 small tweaks here. That's that's all Archangel Raphael is doing. You have the knowledge and wisdom and the destiny. You're walking that path. Just be conscious of the difference between control and alignment. Pull yourself back into it. And this expansive point of view will absolutely take over in a wonderful way and move you forward so much quicker and with less anxiety than you've been experiencing. And remember, don't do this alone. Archangel Raphael, all of your guides, very, very powerful guides. If you're feeling like you're getting out of your element, ask for a sign. That's the law of the universe. It's up to you now to listen for that sign. But when you ask for a sign, I promise you that sign is going to come into your life. Ask for a sign and then sit with that peace, always with the peace and the sense of alignment. If that's how you feel, you know that things are going in the right direction. Pile three, this is a very exciting time for you. Very, very small tweaks in order for you to pull in that and shift that perspective to, you know, move into the, the world and the life with the expansiveness that you've all, always wanted. And rest assured that whatever it is that you're supposed to do in this lifetime, Yes, you will achieve with ease with the shift in perspective. You've already done all the hard work. You've really done all the healing. You're ready for this, ready to take off. And this is the way that you can do this. All right, Pile 3, if this resonated, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to give me um, a, a little like there. Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. If you feel as though this is energy that of support, that you feel as though you could do more so or have more in your life, then feel free to subscribe. If not, that's great too. Thank you for letting me read for you, Pile 3. As always, it's been a pleasure. Until we meet again, you take care. Bye-bye.